Greetings, I'm Raphael and today I'm going to show you how to use the glue tool in Live 2D. So let's get started. First of all, what is glue? Well, as we all know, it sticks two parts together. And in this regard, it sticks two points together. Now that that's out of the way, let's compare the two. The one without glue and the one with glue. As you can see, the one without glue looks strong and unnatural because it doesn't warp with the upper arm as it rotates, whilst the other one with the glued part looks more natural. Now let's get to setting up the actual art mesh. Select both parts with shift click and double click with shift still pressed. Now use the erase tool to remove the points in between the two parts. Notice the new color. As I make a new art mesh, see the points overlap to make a new colored line. The darker green. Those points are points where A and B meshes overlap. Then use the auto connect button to automatically connect the points. Make sure to close up the new mesh color, the new mesh, the new darker green color, because as you can see, if it's not closed, it won't work. There. Now we will use the lasso tool to select everyone and then press Ctrl G in order to glue the parts. Now that the parts are glued, let's move it around. But what's this? Why is it so warped and unnatural? Well, first of all, forearms doesn't float off and leave the wrist floating as well. <laughs> and secondly, we haven't set up the glue properly yet. Think of it as when you glue two pieces of paper together and spread it to the place where you want it to stick together. As now, it's akin to just splurging glue into a piece of paper and slamming another piece haphazardly onto it. Now let's talk about the glue A and B and their emerger. First, press the glue tool on the top and press the yellow glue box to edit the glue mesh. Using the red or glue A, you can paint the parts where you want A points to keep its shape as it deforms or rotates. The same goes for B, green, the glue tool, the B or green glue tool. Then let's go to the remerger tool, the yellow one. Press B and drag the cursor around to adjust the brush size. Now as you can see that the points A and B are separated and connected with a blue line. This happens as the points move around. Make sure to press the yellow glue box if things aren't working. Now let's use the remerger. As you can see, the points stitch together as you run the yellow remerger through. Let's see that once again. As the yellow remerger runs through the points, it will stick the points together to its original glued state. So now that you're educated on what the glue tool does, you can experiment with them. Play around to see what works for you. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Consider following me on Twitter and check out my fiber grid links in the description. And if you have questions, leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer you. Now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.